hi uh, welcome back again uh, poddar kkb channel tricks and technology and this is second uh, part of the demo onion architecture sp.net core mbc is a second layer of the this uh, demo session so in previous i have uh, show you the first demo is a qa dot entity qa dot data um, class library so if you are not about about this thing so i especially recommend please watch my this onion architecture sp.net core mbc part 8 and this is part 9 so now we will be create a second layer of this onion architecture which is repository layer to build this layer we create one more class library project named qa.repo okay let's see in the practical example okay so you can see in my previous i, I have taken the previous example and i have created a solution on your architecture and same i will again i will create a new project this onion architecture or solution so new project okay so class library next and name would be oa dot repo repo means repository just create it okay I'm just installing and this project hold both repository and data context classes okay so the qa.repo project contain the data context and the edu.net entity framework code first data access approach need to create a data access context class that inherit from the db context class so we will create a context class application context application context of cs classes so just create name is it application dot application context dot cs okay make it public okay in this class we will be override the on module create creating method okay so first just create a constructor application context and db context db context text option application context application context okay Let's create an object the name of option okay first i'll bring the namespace for this class okay it's come from the microsoft entity framework core micro microsoft dot entity framework core so just install first okay and inherit base entity the option Okay, I have like first we have 
inherit the DB context actually that will create the database it will it will tell the database to create the your entities so in this class we override the on model creating method so just override okay just override on module creating methods yeah actually and this method is called when the model for a for a context class application context this application context has been initialized but before the model has been locked down and used to the initialize the context such as the model can be further configuration before it is locked down okay so so the db context must have instance of db context options okay so this one which i already created and we will use dependency injection so we pass the option by a constructor constructor dependency injection asp.net core is designed for the ground to support and leverage dependency injection thus we create generic repository interface for the entity operation so first before going to the repository uh, classes first i have to map this class this two class like user user and user map so okay so uh, while creating the repository project what i have observed I am missing something in my previous session dot QA dot data and what is that so I have corrected so if you create and a user so you have to create the user map class okay so which is and also if you want to navigate or you want to the foreign key primary care foreign key relationship so you have to create a one more line here like entity builder dot dot uh, hash one so one to one relationship that's why we are using hash one and t t dot dot user profile yes and with one with one you you dot user dot hash foreign key and what foreign key which column would be foreign key like x dot Okay, hash key dot user profile access x dot it yes yeah 
it means hash key you know create a primary key of the user profile table and with one it is a navigate property like user property which is I have created in our user profile yes this one okay and foreign key table is like ID ID it means user profile base entity go to base entity and this would be which is we have already cleared in the is this is a primary key it is a foreign key of user table okay so I have to correct one one user map entities and classes and I have to create one more class users profile map which I have missed in my previous previous session so don't worry about that you can you can correct in your previous um, library like you o dot o a dot um, data library dot cs okay make it make it public and just create same things so instead of time in waste of time I, I will copy and paste for the user map table such as this one okay so create constructor and this and just first to bring the namespace this one and set as user profile okay and you have to do like create a primary key also here in the user profile table so what you will do entity builder dot hash key hash key which property you want to create a primary primary key T dot ID okay and also you want to make it uh, in your user profile table suppose you want to it's a make it null level or null without null so you can you have to create here as previous I have to I have show you a user map okay yeah so this kind of things you have to do again in your user mapping table so entity builder property t t first name same as it for last name last name and just create is required okay okay that's it I have corrected in our QA dot data libraries so let's continue with the repository layer so we have to map here so that two mapping property like uh, you have to create new user map u s e r user it's not it will not come because you have to add the that project uh, you have to include that project like qa dot this one so before I'm going to do that first I will bring that namespace you can bring like this add difference to this so it will add and you can just model builder dot entity 
and use user okay so user and this okay so model builder will create the entity of user in our database so we will do same things for user profile so user profile profile and user profile profile okay that's it for this db context okay so that's it and now we have to create first delete of this by default generate classes okay I have to create a DB context application context classes for the create the DBs and database table procedure anything so now I will create a repository okay now let's create a repository class to perform database operation on the entity which implement i repository okay so let's create another class and its name of i repository i repo Z tree. Okay. Make it public. Okay. This repository contain parameter rise constructor with the parameter as context. Okay. And So, so first off you have to create public remove the classes use interface and I repository I missed the spelling repository repository okay just create a name same class I just here okay okay so I have to this repository contain the parameter rise constructor with the parameter as a context okay so create and and uh, so t t is the entity you know it is a generic parameter so whatever you have to send in your um, ui or any layers so it will contain so it is would be generic and we will inherit here the base entity base entity i think it's bring the namespace of qa.data yes right okay so i have created a parameter parameterize constructor with the parameterize context so when we create an instance of this repository we pass a context so that entity has the same context okay so I have showing you like this okay now I have create the common method I, have, I will create the common method like uh, get all 
insert update delete remove so i enumerable t t get all actually it will it will return a collection of the it will uh, return the collection so that's why I, I'll take the I numerable and second would be to get and it will take a parameter long ID okay void and <clears throat> it is a written type of the genetic parameter genetic entity and uh, third one would be oh, this is non returnable type insert insert t entity Okay, just in, in waste of time, I have to copy same look like insert, update, and delete. I have to create insert, update, update, and delete, delete. and remove don't worry about this method i will implement in our uh, in our client uh, client library so that time we will clear why create of insert of the delete on what the use of these things I'll say remove and uh, last one <clears throat> save changes changes okay okay so I have created I repository and my I repository class so I will create another class that it's a implemented class implementation class that name would be repository so just create it dot cs public public class just inherit i repository of t t entity entity Just bring the namespace. Okay. Okay. So, okay. It says we have to implement. Okay. The all the all the declaration method in the I repository class interface. So before before we doing that first I have to I have to create a constructor of this repository class for the injecting our DB context 
so first inject application context application context or you can use only context or as a prefer your name context context okay the context okay just create this way okay okay I'm injecting the context class application context in our repository constructor okay and I will do I will create also entities the set of the context so I will do just create the private DB set DB set need to bring the namespace entity code okay and generic this and <coughs> this okay <coughs> and just assign in the entities context set context context dot set of the entities okay okay and just implement all the methods okay it's created all the method I we have to implement implement it so first I will create get all methods get all methods here so return entities dot single or default single or default uh, actually okay first we have to add a link queue namespace system dot link queue okay the first and default as as dot not uh, like this I think it is okay okay not this one okay this one I will use for here okay such at ID equal to ID okay get and same thing I will repeat here turn entities dot as enumerable it is written collection of the object all the and I will use another I will implement another like uh, insert insert okay so if we have to check if entity not this one entity of t null so throw the exception argument a r g u m e n t and u null x exception x 
exception is empty okay exception okay wrong place i have entered <laughs> sorry okay okay yeah entity okay and i will implement here entities dot add dot your entity okay and you have to context dot save change okay that's final insert and uh, insert after that update uh, yeah this is update so same thing we will in the same thing we will do in the update section only few changes so just copy and paste uh, update 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 so just find out update okay and the last topic and just remove it we don't record that section and uh, again we have to implement delete section so delete section before the before use the delete section we have to implement remove section so same things in the remove section oh sorry just copy is the best of the time the copy and just few changes required use remove it will remove all the entities and it contain the parameter okay okay also done and deletes okay this is a delete section so so delete section what have what we we will do and it is dot remove entities okay not this one entities entities dot removes remove entity not this one entity entity okay so I think all classes has uh, done for the implementation so let's check the let let's check one by one okay delete implement done done insert done done oh my god save changes save changes nothing you have to do just create context dot save changes okay 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 finally i have to implement i repository i repository interface as well as repository class so i have created this library also so we develop entity and context which are required to create a database but we will we will come back to this after creating this two more project okay so so i have created repository layer as well as <clears throat> so that's it for this repository layer thank you for watching we will come again uh, uh, next two uh, projects like uh, our service layer as well as our 
UI like API or uh, ASP.NET Core MBC. Okay, thank you.